Hi, I'm Gary Malik, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use your TV as a monitor. Um, now there's going to be a couple ways you can hook it up, and you're going to have to have the right video card because you can't just plug your, you know, your TV into your computer and use it as a monitor, especially if it's not a high definition TV because it's just not going to look right. Um, now I just so happen to have a good video card in this computer here, so it has DVI outputs and S-Video outputs. Now S-Video is a cable like this, and most, most televisions these days will have an S-Video input. So you can run it out from your computer and into the back of your television. Or, if you have a good video card, such as the one in this computer, with DVI outputs, you get a cable like this that has DVI on one end and HDMI on the other. Now this is preferably the best, because you'll get the best resolution. Um, and still, it's not, I would never recommend to use your monitor, uh, your TV as a monitor, because it's just not going to look as good as a real monitor. But if you want to watch movies or play some games or show pictures or videos you made, it, you know, it works. So here we go. So first I'm going to use the S-Video cable. And here in the back of my computer I have a plug for it. So I'm just going to go right in, just like that. And again, in the front of my television here I have a plug, so I'm just going to go right on in. And now it's hooked up. And I'm just going to turn my computer on and hope it works. And as you can see here, now my television is acting as a computer monitor and booting my computer. S-Video. Now we'll try it with the HDMI and see how it looks. Now we're going to take the DVI to HDMI and give that a whirl. So you plug it in here. This is the number one. There's two ports here. I'm going to number one. Uh, screw it in nice and tight and secure. And then take the HDMI and hook it into the back of your television, which I'm going to do. You can pause it. Now we have the computer hooked up through the HDMI port. Uh, which will give you a little better resolution. Uh, it'll probably run at full 1080 on this high def television and look better than the S video. So you can already see there's a lot less lines, so I don't know if you can through the camera. A lot less lines and it's uh, in the perfect format. And there you have it HDMI, full high def using your television as a monitor. If I were to recommend anyway, this would definitely be the best way to do it. 